Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Now, the process of planning an event is very tedious and often time consuming from logistics to catering to coordinating with third party vendors. Event planners are highly sought after, especially here in Nigeria, to ease the burden on clients. Joining us today is award winning event planner and founder of Trendy B Events. Bisola Boha, welcome to the morning show. Welcome to the morning show. <laughs> My pleasure. Show. Good to have you here. Yeah. Thank you so you much. You have been a part of <laughs> yeah. a lot of mm -hmm. celebrity high, events. High class Like weddings. high profile events. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy about that, actually, yeah. It makes me feel good, yeah. Yeah, my question, how much thoughts, like, how different is the process for, like, small events, small intimate events, mm -hmm. and large events? Um, well, the budget, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, um, you, once you have an idea of how much budget you're working with, then you, you'll be able to decide if it's going to, if small actually means small. For exactly. example, you could have a very small event, mm -hmm. but because the budget is mind blowing, you know, mm -hmm. there's so much things you want to include just to make it stand out more than even that big event, right. you know, which might even be simple and not as much with not as much details, basically. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But for me, it's all about details. It's all about standing out. It's all about being extra. Extra, yeah. <laughs> extra. And, and I, what do you think? Because do you would you say Nigerians are quite extra? Mm. They are. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wants a mind blowing event. Everybody mm. wants, even though even though they don't have the budget for it, <laughs> everybody Ooh, wants something so different. Yeah. Everybody wants something new that's never been mm -hmm. done before. Mm -hmm. You know. And at the end of the day, yeah, I, I would say Nigerians are really extra. Like they like to go over and over and beyond. Forgetting that, obviously, there's also the marriage part mm -hmm. of it. It's really when we're doing the weddings, they want mm -hmm. everything. Um, at the end of the day, I would always just let my clients know that at the end of the day, we would work with what you have and still give you extra because that's what comes along with my brand basically right. so i think i work very well with the nigerian brand and basically yeah yeah, but you just said weddings now. So is your main focus weddings? Um, not particularly. Well, I do more of weddings. Okay. I do other events, but okay. mostly weddings. Yeah. What, what's the most outrageous? Just curious. What's the most outrageous request you've gotten from a bride? Oh, okay. I, I think I said it one time. Um, that is, they like the, the client actually wanted a live animal to um, <laughs> be part of the ceremony because it was something really like the animal was really special to her, and she felt like she would. Yeah. What? So, was it like a dog? So, <laughs> it was a horse. Oh, uh, horse. Yeah, so yeah. So basically, she loves riding horses, and she owns one in Canada. So she, and obviously, she couldn't bring her horse down to Nigeria. So she just wow. wanted it to be part of the ceremony. So she said, Bisola, just get me one. And you know, I had mm. to make sure that that was possible without being weird. And funny yeah. enough, we ended up having, making it look like a photo booth. Oh. In a corner, so people yeah. went there. It was like a band, and people went there to take pictures. It was just really fun ones. and nice and different. Yeah, it was extra too. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Horsey, so, I, so I, I would say that I, I really like the apart from obviously making sure that there's the food and the drinks and making sure that everything is flowing. I like also bringing a little part of the client's request up. Um, over the top request into my mm. event just to make it look different right. basically and stand out yeah yeah how, how different is it working with celebrities and then working with the normal person yeah. and um, she was part of Banky's wedding I planned the engagement you ceremony planned and, yeah, wow. and that was really spectacular they were actually mm. very chilled like they had no stress at all mm. basically they trusted me with pretty much everything and I actually yeah so I took it really personal well for celebrities because you know the caliber of people that will be coming for the event mm. yeah. you, you you tend to want to push way yeah. more and then all the vendors tend to want to give you way more so with that everything came together you know i had a fantastic time planning oh, and that we see one. pictures now on screen fun. that's beautiful <laughs> yeah. yes yes it was really really nice i really enjoyed that was one wedding amongst many others i really mm -hmm. enjoyed nice yeah. so we just saw a big production at coachella we saw beyond <laughs> oh my god absolutely yeah, Hell, yes, stage. I would. I would definitely. In fact, I, I think my my dream is to have an event that big mm. right. in and Nigeria. Yes, in Nigeria. Do you think we is can actually possible? pull off this type of production in Nigeria? Definitely, girl. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> and I promise you, like Beyonce really inspires me a lot. Like yeah. sometimes when I am feeling a bit down, I go and watch some of her crazy videos. Yeah, and then you just get like I am. I I always like to imagine that I'm the queen of extra. 
because mm -hmm. I like to put in all that extra in everything I do. Mm -hmm. In everything I do, I always like to do that. So when I watch her videos or I see her or go, I, I'm always so inspired. So when I found out that this um, show was going to be about her also, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So yes, that was really nice. Like I really enjoyed the um, um, concert. It was really yeah. nice watching it. Mm. And I think we can definitely pull that off even better in Nigeria. It just oh, takes wow. discipline. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I wouldn't you have thought, I wouldn't, exactly. I wouldn't yeah, have we, thought like we'll be able to do that. Do we have, well, we have the space. We, we have, have good spaces. Space. Yes, yes. Would you say do. it's more to do with the funding and people actually investing yes. in the production? Mm. Yes, and even, um, you know, a lot of people kept on saying that even some of our performances are not even as, as good as the ones that, you know, obviously some of the artists we're doing this because yeah. most of these artists, they just come, they just, they don't really put in a lot of mm. thoughts into their performances yeah. and it just mm. looks dry, mm -hmm. you know? But I feel like if a lot of people, they, apart from obviously making sure we have like an extraordinary um, scenery and everything looks all glam and, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like everybody needs to come with a bit more energy just mm. to add to that, you know? Yeah, yeah so the, everything about that um, um, concert is, it's really, really great. Yeah. Well, we said we weren't going to call anyone out, so we will not yeah, be calling any of the out. out. But yes, we understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We understand that a lot more thought really needs to go into mm -hmm. the concerts and that we have. And investment. And, and investment. actually, we do have um, a couple of planners and um, shows that have really, really you know, yeah. being really good. Yeah, like, I, I went last one. year. Last Found year, the oh, yes, I was, I was going to say um, even though the fast. Sound City um, MVP okay, was really right. nice. Like when I saw there, because I had an event the next day, mm -hmm. I saw the production. It was really, really nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like it was, it was great. So we have, we have a lot of Capacity. people that are, yes, it's just that I think um, for, for the funding, a lot of people are not ready to bring out that because I can, can imagine how much was yes, spent yeah, on that, st on that yes, station, for the band, set, you know, set, coming, yeah. you know, coming out the ground. And those are stunts I love, yeah. you know, those are things that if you, if you, if you check extra, some of, yeah, extra. you know, I mean, it's, uh, um, some of my events, I've had the couple come through the roof. I've had the kick oh, wow. come through the roof. I've yeah. had people come through From elevators. Under, yeah. I've had, you know, yeah. so I love, I mm -hmm. swear to God on my <laughs> when I watch Beyonce's videos, it gives me a rush. And when I see all these performances, I'm really excited. Yeah. And I know we can do even better. Yeah, but yeah. let's talk about, let's talk about you now. Okay. How can you go from NLNG mm. to event planning? Okay, let me see. My, I wasn't really built for the corporate life, like just going to work nine to five and just, you know, just sitting down, documenting and all that. So for me, it was very dry. It was boring. You know, actually, I was actually very rebellious during those periods because I, I couldn't understand why you sit down here and, you know, maybe it was just the department I was in or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was not really fitting into it. I became a bit restless. And along the line, I just discovered, that, you know what, um, a friend of mine asked me to plan a very small event for her. And I enjoyed it. I took charge. Mm -hmm. I felt in charge. I felt control. Empowered. Nobody, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I, it kind of just triggered something in me that, you know what, you can try this and, you, you know, and, First event, I put in my heart. I always tell people, put in your heart, put in your passion, and people would see through it. Yeah. And before you know it, referrals, you know, here and there. And yeah, yeah. we've done so many events nice. in Nigeria, outside Nigeria, it, it's been great. It, 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 you know what, we've actually seen this shift. So, you know, when you're trying to explain to your parent about maybe a wedding <laughs> or a, an event, why they need an event planner, hmm. they're always skeptical because they wonder, I, they think that they can they actually can plan it. these things by themselves. So tell us, why, what are some of the important reasons why somebody should hire an event planner? I would say um, to add, apart from just making sure that, you know, they take away that steam, that stress from the clients, already, already, you're already raising funds for your event. You're already, you're going health to health, trying to make sure that you, you have the slave body and all that. You don't want to be thinking about one caterer or mm -hmm. one decorator doing something that you're not bothered or screaming and shouting mm -hmm. at someone. So it's always better to get a professional that has your vision in mind. Right. Things like you. And that's mm -hmm. why we have so many event planners, I say. Mm -hmm. Find one that goes with your spirit, mm -hmm. that you've seen her jobs, you love it, you enjoy what she does, and you can trust her to deliver. Right. Mm. That way, you're just giving the brief of exactly what you want, mm. and they're come putting everything together. So you have the peace of mind, you have value for money, because they're, add, they're going to get um, the, the value of whatever money you're spending plus more, because the vendors want favors from the planners, so they're giving them more than they're asking for. Right. So at the end of the day, you know, then also, also you're protecting your investment, because after spending all that money, 
millions. Some people spend millions yeah, on weddings. On yeah. At the end of the day, you can't. You don't want to be going around, you know, supervising this and that. Mm. So you need to have someone that protects all protect that money your, spent. Even your oh yes, yeah. protecting two hundred. Yeah. You, you paid for two hundred um, small chops. Okay, I want to make what sure that that two hundred small yeah, chops is right. there. You paid for food. You want to make sure yeah. that the caterer came with the right cutleries, the right yeah. chargers. Mm. Just peace of mind, basically, so, and just making yeah. sure everything goes smoothly. Yeah, so what, what trends would you say you have set? Because now the name mm. of the company is TrendDB. So what trends would you say you have changed in the events planning space? Because it's grown. It actually mm -hmm. has evolved, especially in this space. Okay, I would say that um, when I first started event planning, and obviously um, I've, I've had a lot of mentors, you know, even in Nigeria, you know, that I looked up to while starting. But then again, sometimes I, used to, I always used to think that... <coughs> Would they cover? Okay. So um, um, <laughs> then again, I used to think that um, um, what was it? I've the lost people, my thoughts. The, the okay. Yeah. The people you, you, that have mentored you. Yes. So um, then again, I used to think that. Yeah. So back then, I used to think that events were a bit boring. It was just oh, you come, you eat, you drink, you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there was nothing really interesting. So right. at the end of the day, your actual B money is as, okay, fine, you come. <laughs> they've, they've done what they have to do and everybody is going. So um, I saw that and I actually was not really interested in that. I wanted to add in a little bit of spice. Okay. So I did a lot of underground work who I can work with to make a little bit of magic happen. I wanted to go with the new th trend of, you know, you know, having extra moments, having okay. um, grand entrances, having right. special entrances, anything, just to add um, a vibe that is different from just coming to eat and drink okay, at so your is event. This at Echo Hotel? Yes, that was a cool hotel. At least the wedding. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks like a oh, concert. Wow. Yeah. So it even down to the details of the decoration, everything yeah. has to go mm. in line just to make sure that, you know, when people come, they're already excited. Yeah. Even before they see the couple. Oh, wow. <laughs> even before they see the couple. It's like a, it's like a pageant. It's like a beauty pageant. <laughs> yeah. I feel yes, like I'm watching you know, like Cinderella I always say yeah. that. Um, I attract um, the type of clients I want. So, so what kind of, sorry, what kind of budget is, would, exactly. was this wedding? <laughs> mm, okay, this wedding was actually high, really high. Mm. However, I've done so many other weddings that were not this high that we still also achieved, okay. you know, a lot of okay. other things. So depending okay. on what budget you have, I, I always try and still yeah. put in something okay. that works. Someone sent me a message That's recently, mm -hmm. like to, to, and I think we're running out of time, but oh. somebody asked like, oh, um, what is a reasonable budget to have for a wedding? Mm, people have asked me this question. I've gotten into trouble. Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten into trouble. Okay, you know what? I will say at this rate, your, um, Cut your coat. Cut your, yeah. yeah, cut your coat according to your size. Yeah, right. Your budget can range from any figure. It can mm -hmm. be any figure, really. Just try but hard in, not to no, yeah, because no, I actually no, got in true. trouble saying it one time, and they were like, "Oh, what are you saying that people do, that have lower can have a wedding? You can actually decide to have a fifty-man wedding and yeah. spend one million. Yeah, right. hundred-man wedding right. and spend two two million. Yeah. You can even have a fifty-man wedding and yeah. spend fifty million. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Depending on who, you, whether you want to fly in someone, a, a grand yeah, decorator, the, you want the, the floors to value. open yeah. while you're yeah. coming in. You know, really, yeah. So basically, the event space is limitless, and it will work with any budget. Yes. It will work with any budget. It will work reasonable, with a reasonable, reasonable budget. budget. <laughs> Depending, <laughs> yes, and a reasonable brief. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you okay. so much. Yeah, thanks so thank much. So Where much, can we Bissala. find you on Instagram? Um, at Bisala Trendy B. Okay. And my company at Trendy B Events. Amazing. Yes. Right. Well done. Well thank done. you so much for coming on the show. Thank well, you that so brings much. us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you for watching from the entire morning show team here in Lagos. All that's left to say is enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye. Goodbye.